All right, everybody, today's video, we are going to be talking about crossbow shot distance on deer, and we're going to be looking at it from kind of a watered down mathematical standpoint. Um, before we get started, I just want to say a couple of things here. I know that there are a lot of people, um, maybe including yourself, that have successfully harvested deer at long ranges with a crossbow. And I know myself included and probably you, we are capable of shooting really good, accurate groups at long ranges with our crossbow at a stationary target. I'm not arguing or denying that at all. And I'm not questioning anyone's ethics. Um, I think that is your decision to the range at which you feel like you can ethically harvest deer. Um, that, that is an individual thing. But what I want to look at is kind of all that stuff aside. Um, let's look at what our... I would say, quote unquote, a good, if you want to call it that, a good shot distances using math based on a deer's reaction time. That's what this video is going to be about. Um, and with that, we're going to make a few assumptions to really simplify the equation that we're going to use. Uh, one assumption is that there's going to be no drag on our bolt. Um, essentially, we're shooting in a vacuum. Pretend there's no air, so no wind resistance, no drag from the wind, nothing like that. And we're also going to assume that there is no gravity. So essentially, our bolt or in a compound bow example that I'm going to show our arrow is going to travel from our weapon to our target at the exact same speed. So with that, watering that equation down, um, it's pretty simple. It's speed in feet per second which is what all of your crossbows or compound bows are advertised in is equal to distance divided by time. Um, so we know the speed of our weapon, uh, our crossbow. We know the distance at which we're shooting. What we don't know is basically the time. So we're going to rearrange the equation. We're going to solve for time where time is going to be equal to the distance divided by the speed. And so when I first uh, started this, I didn't know what a deer's reaction time was. So this was kind of my way of calculating a time. Um, and I did that based on kind of my comfort level with my compound bow. So my compound, it's a pretty average one. Um, I feel like this number two is a pretty just good estimate for the average compound bow using the average deer hunting setup. What is the feet per second? And so 280 is the number that I'm using. And I basically just calculated the time at a bunch of different ranges, uh, 10 to 100 yards here that you can see on the screen. And where I start to get nervous with my compound bow is 30 yards. Um, that is pretty much all the farther that I like to shoot. After that, I feel like the deer can just move too much. It's too unpredictable based on their movement. Um, so I highlighted the time it takes my compound bow to shoot 30 yards and that is 0.32 seconds so that is kind of my uh the time at which i'm going to also limit my crossbow so if i take that time i rearrange the equation again to now solve for distance so we know time and we have the speed of a crossbow we can now figure out the distance at which you know I should start getting nervous with my crossbow. So I put a couple different crossbow speeds up here for that example, um, or for this example, 325 to 425, I feel like is a pretty good bracket for where crossbows, uh, both some older ones as well as uh, average ones today shoot. Um, and if we take that time of 0.32 seconds and we use those speeds, we're looking at distances uh, between 35 yards and 46 yards. And my crossbow, I hunt with a Killer Instinct SWAT XP. It's rated for 415, but I'm shooting around 370 feet per, or 375 uh, feet per second with the heavier bolt that I'm using. So for me, if I feel a little uncomfortable beyond 30 yards with my compound, 40 yards is really my... Um, equal distance with my uh, crossbow. If you wanted to also look at the fastest crossbow to date, the Raven, that new Raven that shoots 500 feet per second. If 30 yards with my compound is my nervous number, uh, 54 yards would be my nervous number with the fastest crossbow ever made. 
I then figured somebody had to have already figured out what a deer's reaction time is. Uh, so I just Googled it and here's a snippet from what I Googled. I'll read it to you really quick. Uh, it took an average of about 0.16 seconds from arrow release for a deer to start moving or loading and 0.28 seconds for a deer to fully load their legs or complete the downward movement. So 0.6 seconds to start, 0.28 seconds to basically completely duck. Um, those are the numbers. And I guess my 0.32 wasn't that far off. But if we take those times now and we put them uh, back into our distance equation with our crossbow speeds, you know, to really beat a deer's movement with a crossbow, depending on the speed of your bow, um, if you look at that 325 to 425 bracket, you've got to be 17 to 23 yards to basically completely beat their movement. Um, if you then take their number, if you want to call it the nervous number of now 0.28 seconds, um, you're looking at 30 yards to 40 yards for uh, 325 to 425 feet per second crossbows. And then that Raven, um, 47 yards. So if you kind of, if you look at all of these, um, you know, again, I just want to say you are the ultimate judge of what is a ethical shot for you. Um, I don't want to determine that distance for you based on your equipment or your skill level or whatever. I know everybody's different, um, but I just wanted to look at it from a number standpoint and give you guys something to consider. If you're newer to hunting, you're newer to crossbow hunting, or, you know, you think, man, I can shoot this awesome fast new crossbow a hundred yards and I can shoot six inch groups just consider not just what you can shoot at a stationary target but a deer's reaction time and when they start moving everything is unpredictable it doesn't matter if your shot is perfect um, that is something that we cannot control is a deer's reaction time and how they move how far they move um, whether it's up, whether it's sideways, whatever. So if we look at shot distances purely based on reaction time, I think, uh, a lot of distances, you know, are a lot less than some people think that they can shoot at deer. So just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.